Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of Three Chords Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Alrighty. According to the bottle, it is um, barrel number 27. I'm sorry, batch 27. Alcohol by volume 49.5, giving it a 99 uh, proof. Finished in Pinot Noir barrels. That caught my eye. Small batch, fine. Handcrafted, fine. Power of three, that's nice. Uh, if you go to the website, they go into great detail. Well, enough of a detail on their um, distilling process in which they introduce, obviously, American white oak, or it wouldn't be a bourbon. This is a uh, straight bourbon, so obviously to be bourbon, there must be American light oak involved. It also involves uh, two other different kinds of barrels afterwards in the aging process, and one of them is this Pinot Noir. Now, if that sounds familiar, uh, Pinot is a style of grape, obviously in the wine industry. There was a movie that came out quite a while ago, but man, made a huge hit, and was a huge boom to the wine, to the wine industry. I believe it was called Sideways, in which one of the main characters, his favorite wine is a Pinot Noir. I've had Pinot Noir. Uh, I don't recall what exactly this guy was saying about it, other than it's a fragile grape and difficult to use. All I can say is it tastes like syrup to me. Heavy of uh, thick uh, past my comfort levels and I like dark chocolate I like a dark rose coffee I prefer a smoky bourbon I do not like this stuff I'll, I'll take a Merlot which is notoriously being dark and heavy over a Pinot Noir any day but in my opinion if you like Pinot Noir it's more power to you uh, according to the back Talks about Strange Calibration. Uh, Strange Calibration, I believe, is the name of the parent company. At least that's what I'm gathering from all this. Uh, the Pinot Noir comes from Santa Rita Hills, California. Uh, they claim, boast, in the tasting notes, to have cherry nose, currant nose, fresh strawberries, and raspberries in the nose. Flavor is a Pinot Noir, followed by oak spice and a vanilla. And then it just goes on about how great they are. Distilled in Kentucky, um, and then bottled in Michigan. That I had a great laugh with, because talk about a carbon footprint. We get the barrels from over here in California, we distill in Kentucky, and then we bottle in Michigan. Wow. <laughs> what are your fuel bills? So, besides cool label, if you guys follow me for any period of time, packaging has been my thing. If you try this bourbon, sniff the cork. They are right about strawberries. They are right about crants. Um, all of it comes up because it's the smell of the Pinot. Right on through. And it is, it would throw you off if you weren't expecting it. It's kind of like when you have a, a whiskey and it comes out of a sherry cask. You sort of expect a, a cherryness involved. This Pinot Noir gives you much more of a grape. So, fantastic nose. Oh, uh, plastic cork, wood top that their silly shrink wrap won't let go of. Fought it for quite a while. <laughs> well, that's a tight fit. Ah. Alrighty. I was getting something rude about college boys and tight fits, but anyways. Too old to make college jokes. We have here 
It is a caramel brown. I'm going to get whiskey. It has uh, yellow and red in the uh, hues. So I think overall hues, caramel brown with punches of yellow and punches of red. Interesting. Usually you'll just get a punch of one color. And it's usually yellow. A little cold outside. <sighs> Not hard. I say at the taping of this particular review, it's cold outside. Swirl, 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 swirl. In case you're wondering about the swirl, is to well, multi-purpose. One, when we stop, we look to see how fast it runs down. That's called legging or tearing. The faster it legs, the faster it tears, the less sugar there is in solution. Don't worry, there's supposed to be sugar in a solution. It's how much is up to the brewing, brewing, distilling process. Got brewing on the mind. It also determines how thick it is on the palate. This, when this thing goes, it goes. So it's going to be about a medium or so thickness on the palate. And about a medium or so uh, sweetness, according to the visuals. Sadly, I often found that the visuals... I wouldn't say rarely, but doesn't reliably determine what the flavor is. But, eh, why not take a look before you jump, right? It's called being safe. The other reason for on the side is they get much more surface to air. And because the Glencairn glass funnels, as I go in and out of darkness here, because it uh, funnels, it takes all the uh, oils and the nose and groups it together so it's easier to smell. With this piss poor schnoz, I need all the help I can get. Giving it a swirl, not only does it surface here, but it's up the sides. And that gives you even more air to surface contact. And it's got a very nice nose. You get your typical stuff. You get your lemon, you get your vanilla, you get your caramel, you get your stone fruit. The, the basics that you get from any any all kind of uh, a bourbon, but unlike the cork, where the cork gave you all this berry and different berries involved, like I said the currant and the strawberries and everything. Not getting it. Not this way. And. I've had some of this already, as you can tell. And it was very burny, uh, pushing on the bitey range. And usually you can pick that up in the nose. Nothing. Not this time. <coughs> now, I do know, the longer you let this sit out, the bit more humane or it gets on, on your palate. I did hear somebody recommend using, letting it sit out for 23 minutes. Now, it wasn't necessarily for this particular product, just his bourbon or whiskey in general. I don't know about that. But, guy claimed to be an expert. I'm passing the word. burns, bites, but in the back of the palate, <coughs> there is berries all through it. Think, think of your standard oh, uh, American bourbon, the throw-in berry juice all through it, nice and evenly. Comes out very well on the palate, multi-layered, very nice. Now, I am outside <coughs> during the taping of this, obviously, trees, and it is quite cold. Ambient temperature, or say room temperature, it will definitely flare up the burns and definitely flare up the biting. So be careful about that. 
I've tried this on ice and it received it quite well. Why is this a noteworthy bit? When you bring in ice, it tends to drop down the, the delicate flavors and it starts to muddy all the little details that you can get otherwise. But if you don't bring in ice and don't do that, the sharpness is there. So you take that, you, you pretty much defang the whiskey to a point. And not complete, but to a point. But the price is that you take all the subtleties and you start to muddy them up down. So how brave, how strong is your tongue to how much you want to taste those little fine bits of goodness wrapped in razor blades? Depends on whether you use ice or not. It is cold, very cold outside. I'm looking forward to the end of this poor video so I can go inside and get warmed up. And I'm thinking that's taking the edges off of this. Now, try it either way. See what you think. I even tried this in a uh, cocktail. And it actually complemented the cocktail quite well. I was afraid that all that sugary soda would just destroy everything that's in this. And it doesn't. They work very well. So this can be used as a sipping bourbon or as a cocktail bourbon. I suggest a sipping bourbon, but let it sit and air out for, I don't know, about 23 minutes, but let it go longer than your normal comfort level will allow, and it would be worth it, because it should defang some of this venomous snake and make more of a pleasant sip. Because as it is, like I said, it's, 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 it's a wonderful Christmas present wrapped in sharp knives. But see what you guys think. This is three cord from the strange calibration, I guess, company. Uh, yeah, you know, that sort of stuff. There you go. Uh, anything about this product down below? Warm accepted as always, or better yet, go out, buy it, and try it. And then review it with the rest of us. And the YouTube spirits can you know your thoughts about this particular product. Whether it's worth our money or not. Money's getting tight these days. And like I said, it's it's worth it, but you know, it is it's got a lot of bite with a lot of flavor. So see what you guys think. Until next time, keep on drinking.